Well, I think before we start talking about smart data, it is important to sort of understand a little bit about big data. And there have been two dominant themes of big data in the last decade, if you will. So one was around this explosion of transactional data. You had banks that were collecting records of ATM transactions, online bill payments, uh, and were able to analyze that to look for patterns. There was also an explosion in online like e-commerce transactions, what websites you visited, what products you bought, et cetera. Now, there's been a separate trend as well in terms of using data that has been aggregated at a city scale. So for example, we're talking about you know, MRT records in Singapore being used to analyze the movement patterns of people, and you can use that to plan where the next train schedule would look like or where the next train station should be built and so on. But if you look at this pattern, you'll notice two things. One, it's mostly about your persona and your activities in the online world. Well, guess what? Even today, in spite of all the social media and the digital media we consume, 80% of our life is lived in the physical world. Now, the other pattern is, you know, so far big data has been about taking data collectively from large amounts of people and getting macroscopic perspectives. So with smart data, I think there are two dominant themes. One is going to be the rise of wearable and mobile devices. And you must think of these not as consumption or media devices, but they're really more about sensing devices. These have the ability to, for example, with the accelerometer and the gyroscope and these type of sensors to capture how far you walk every day, you know, how much congestion you experience in a bus or train ride, how often you eat and how fast you eat, for example. So when you begin to collect this kind of individualized, what I call deep data about a person's everyday life, the possibilities are enormous. And one of the things I'd be very happy and look forward to talking about is the implications this has on a variety of new age businesses and new age services. And in particular, I'd like to focus on healthcare and the ability to monitor your daily activity patterns. I'd be uh, very interested to talk about insurance. And there's a lot of examples now of you know, better driving being fostered through monitoring your actual driving habits in auto insurance markets. And lastly, in retail, which is the market which I think is an untapped market because you still go into the store and you physically look at products and the ability to understand your preferences and aspirations is crucial to offering you better services. Of course, when we talk of big data to smart data, there is always going to be the lingering question of privacy. And I believe that the right answer to this is not going to be about giving the consumer more control and options and choices so that they do the risk benefit trade off. And I particularly look forward to talking about some emerging architectures that allow a more federated privacy model where different providers and aggregators of data can share them with your active consent to give you the additional services you need.